Brian, disappointing night, 2 0 defeat. What's your thoughts after that? I thought they worked extremely hard the first half. When a, when a player up, they obviously get out to 10, 10 men and we're thinking to ourselves at half time, going to keep doing the stuff, do the basics right. But we made a, a mistake in the halfway line. It goes, the goalkeeper's got to come higher and help. We wait for it, felt as if it's a short duration to wait to come out and help. She slot, the girl slots it in, but to be fair, the girl that scored the two goals, she was the best player in the park by a country mile. She, she ran us ragged the second half, even she done it up, up there herself, and we've got to learn from it. Goalkeeper's mistake. We're playing against 10 men, we've got to be braver on the ball. We're t- encouraging them to pass it to the back there. It's three against one, and we try and kick long when because they're panicking because they're one down. There's no need to panic, there's still time in the game. And if we kick it straight to her, she runs through and scores again, so bitterly disappointed. I think it's promotions looking dead in the water, which is very frustrating because the girl's been excellent for me all season and I'm as disappointed as they are. Was losing that goal a bit of a sucker punch allowed them to uh, get everybody behind the ball and we struggled to break them down in that second half? No, they got so We gave them a lift. We made the mistake. We let them score a goal and then obviously they, they sit in and counter us. And, they were good at it. Barely the girl up front was excellent at it and we couldn't deal with her, which was very frustrating. As you mentioned, it now makes promotion very difficult, but the girls have got to pick themselves up for the game on Sunday and who knows what can happen. Listen, well, no, as long as it's mathematically on, we're still going to go for it, but it's extremely difficult for us all. Unlucky time. Thank you. <laughs>